let me show you how I edited this promo video for my client using Camtasia. Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here from Esatino Media. And on this channel, we show you how to create profitable content. All right, so I'm in the dashboard of the promo video that I created for my client. Here it is right here. So there are a bunch of layers going on here. So let me show you what the promo video looked like. Here it is. So this promo video was created for my clients to promote their high-end coaching program called Ignited. It's basically a $10,000 real estate investing program that teaches you the game of real estate investing because my clients have been doing this successfully for 20 plus years. And so let's break down the promo video. So I will say that this was about a five to six hour edit. I have to say that I was being very focused and being very diligent. This could have easily taken eight hours or more if I had allowed distractions, but there was a tight deadline, so I really needed to focus. So that's why it's five to six, but if you've got other stuff going on, it might be eight plus. So first thing we have here on the track one and track two is the audio. It's either gonna be on track one and or track two if I need another version of audio. And by audio, I mean the music to the video, not sound effects. And the reason why I put it on the bottom is because I typically don't need to touch the audio or the song. In this case I did, which is why I have two separate here. And I will say that I found this song at the end of the edit. I knew that it was gonna be easy to find a corporate type song. There's so many of them. I get my music from artlist.io, been using them for years. Now I had to do this type of an edit to the song where I faded out and I faded into a specific part because the song was going on longer and the client wanted the video to be less than 90 seconds. And so I felt this was an appropriate time for the song to end. So that's why there's this kind of an audio happening. I'll play it for you right now. So I actually had to bring in the ending closer because the song was longer. So that's why I had to do this like fade out during this part of the song and then a fade in closer to the end. So I basically, the song was like longer, like it was going to continue on. So I, this part right here, you can see it's kind of like looking like the same kind of audio. So I just removed a chunk of it, faded it out and then faded in the ending here. So it's seamless, right? People won't really know that that's happening in the song that I cut it short. And that's more of an advanced technique. I will go into that in another tutorial because you do really need to listen for certain parts of the song. Like if I had chopped it over here, it might not have worked as well. I specifically did it at this part. Next layer we have here is the green background here. Now, although it's not being seen in every single part, like for here it is because it's the beginning, I was fine with it being on the whole screen because I needed it throughout different parts. So I needed it during this part, not this part, this part, not this part, but then this part. So I was just okay with it being on the entire screen rather than having chop, not chop, not, you know, and just 
it, it, it didn't ruin the, the video. And so that was the background. So first we start off with welcome to Ignited, right? We're welcoming people to take a look at the program because this is a coaching program that we're trying to sell here. The clients wanted the website to be somewhat scrolling on the screen here. So what I tried to do here is I tried to simulate what it would be like for the client is they would be on their computer or a laptop and they would be scrolling through and as that scrolling through bullet points about the program are flashing by so it's real estate investing simplified you know a live mentorship and supportive training program to help the average person get into real estate investing and then the last part is no real estate experience required so while the website's flashing by, there's these bullet points here at the bottom that are, you know, promoting it. Now, this right here, this was me going onto their website, and all I did was a screencast recording of me scrolling through the website. Just, all I did was just this, just scroll through while I'm doing a screen record, which was one of these right here. And then, how I got it to fit into this computer is in Camtasia, they have this thing called device frame. And so when you go to visual effects, there's this thing right here called device frame, which basically means you can put a video inside a computer or a cell phone or an iPad, whatever devices, right? And so they have this preset so that you don't have to go and find one on a website and manually do it because it would take a lot longer. So what I did was I dragged this onto the screencast recording and then it f it already fit it inside here and I chose the desktop. So if I change this to iPhone, it's gonna fit it inside the iPhone. Now they do have more features and more images. If you have the assets, there's there's more free ones, but then there's also more paid ones as well. I just chose the standard one. I was fine with it. If you turn it off, you can see this is what it looks like without it on. It's just the website. And then you put the device frame feature on, and now it's fitted nicely into this computer like it's actually scrolling through. So the next part here was bullet points about the program. So it's like the Ignited Mentorship Program is for you if and then so it's getting rid of their limiting beliefs right it's if you're you know you might be sick and tired of thinking about getting into real estate well that's why they put that there and you really have been thinking about you want to be an investor or you're scared to make a mistake all these things are limiting beliefs and they're trying to address them in the program so that you get rid of them and then you want to take the program. And so I just took this information that was already on their website. So if you're doing like a promo video or anything for a client, always look at their stuff. Look at their website, look at their social media. What's their vibe? What What is it they actually want? Who? What are they like so that you can put that into the video. So they really do help beginners and all that kind of stuff. And so all I did was just list it out in order here. And you can see this is what this whole like kind of tower is going on. It's literally just text. This is the title here. This is that bullet point, this bullet point. And it's just coming on at each different times as it goes through the video. But at the same time, I'm leaving everything else on. So you can see the title starts, and then this one starts, but it's all still staying together until it looks like this. So it's kind of like a half pyramid that's going on. And for this last clip, I wanted to get like B-roll footage, you know, a home or something like that. So people could visualize, you know, purchasing a home, purchasing something that they could rent out or get into real estate investing. So I found this really cool clip on Storyblocks, which is a website that offers copyright free footage. And this is a cool clip right here of like, you know, it fast paced moving through a home. And it's kind of like, I'm trying to get the energy going up. So I've already here, I've removed your limiting beliefs. And now there's like a high energy thing happening. And the song is also getting high energy. And then at the end, 
There's like this call to action, get started and become an Ignited member, start taking real steps. You know, I'm giving them a call to action, get started with becoming a real estate investor and then the song ends and there's a fade out, right? And there is also a zoom in that's happening as well right here. That was the promo video that I created for my clients to promote their program. Another thing to note to make this easier is you always want to have all of the, the assets like your logos ready to go. I have these saved in my Camtasia media bins in my library because I do work for my client often. So I always have that saved. You don't want to waste time, you know, searching for that kind of stuff. You're already going to be looking for other stuff you know, like finding this kind of video or finding a song. So wherever you can shorten the time of wasting, you, sh you should do that. All right, so that is how I edited this promo video for my client. If you found this video helpful, please let me know by hitting the thumbs up button. That would be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.